Hi everyone, my name is David Andrade, I'm the head of technology for William Hill in Shoreditch. Welcome to our offices and welcome to Mind Effect Shop in London. I'm going to tell you a bit about William Hill, who we are. Hopefully, if you live in the UK, you know the brand and you know the company, but just going to go over a few things that hopefully you don't know yet. So, William Hill is a betting and uh, gaming company, and there's two main parts of our business. There's a retail part of our business, as you've probably seen, shops in across London and the UK. And there's an online part of our business, which is you know where I fit in, and most of the team that's here today fits in. So a truly global global brand. Although our main market is the UK, we operate in other markets like Italy, Spain, and other places, Australia. We have offices pretty much around you know all over the world, and uh, you know our team just get, keeps getting bigger and bigger, which is a good sign. It means that we're growing, and it means that we're doing well. To give you an idea, in terms of net revenue, in 2015 it was 1.5 billion pounds. There's not many companies that can actually say that, so it's something we're proud of and that we want to obviously tell everyone. But it's not only about the money, actually, it's mostly not about the money, it's mainly about the team. So we have around 15,500 employees, so a pretty big team. Don't worry, it's not 15,000 developers or QAs, it's not 15,000 tech people, that'd be and manageable but you know we have quite a few people in the retail side of the business so the shops obviously each shop has to have multiple people to manage it and to serve our clients uh, there's also quite a few of us uh, in technology which is what I'm going to focus on and tell you a bit more about so in technology it's about 800 of us we have quite a few dev centers the four main ones that us here in Shoreditch interact with actually the three so one is Shoreditch obviously the other one is uh, Leeds, uh, Gibraltar, where we have a big tech hub, and also Tel Aviv. So it's about 200 plus uh, developers and architects, 100 plus QAs, mostly focused on automation and not so much on manual, only for exploratory <coughs> testing, which is something we're very proud of, uh, and 300 plus people uh, in operations. Uh, in terms of tech, we like to think that we choose, we pick the right tool for the right job. So we don't just do Java, we don't just do C, C Sharp or any other programming language or any other tool. So we use, here in short, just to give you an example, we use mainly Java, um, Angular, uh, Oracle, Scala. We hosted the Scala meetup a few weeks ago exactly to start getting into the community and getting more people in and starting to share what we're doing. But across William Hill, we use many tools. So what do we do? What is this technology? What is this betting and gaming? So if you are within this business, you will most likely have heard of our Trafalgar project. So we have rewritten our sport, sports book. So everything you bet around sports and everything will be in our brand new application. It wasn't just about rewriting and restyling the application. We've done some pretty good work on actually underpinning some third party dependencies that we had with our suppliers. So we are much more autonomous now on actually providing a great experience for our customers. And alongside that, because most people think about betting companies as like, well, we go there and we bet. It's not only about it. We have a, a big part of our business that is based on gaming. So you can actually go into our applications and play games like slots or live casino, or many other things that you, know, you have available there. I think there's more than a thousand games that you can play at, at William Hill. And some, uh, just as a side note, because we are in Shoreditch and yes, we try to do some cool stuff here in our office. We've run, I don't know how many of you are aware of, you, of this, but we've run a um, startup accelerator program here in 2015. So we had around, two, around 250 people or groups of people applying for it. They pitched their ideas, we picked the ones we thought were the best, and then we've supported them on building their applications with not only our business knowledge, but also with our technology. So they can use our APIs. If you go to developer.com, you can see loads of gaming APIs that you can use. Things that we actually use for our own products, so not something that we wouldn't support or recommend. So if we use them for our products, we surely would support them. To give you an idea of how big our applications are, every weekend we process more transactions to our applications than any other system on a Black Friday in the UK. So take a few seconds to process that. It's, this is something that we're very proud of, not only because we process those transactions, but because we're still able to give our customers a great experience throughout that period. So if you imagine a World Cup final, how many transactions that's going to go it's through our systems, there's really some resilience needed there. 
but we don't just organize you know these meetups like we did for the Scala one and we're doing this one today we also like to get involved in other things so we got involved in many talks recently we have most of we have some experts in you know very different fields we have some of our you know, Scala experts in the world that go to San Francisco. We have people that talk about Java and other and other programming languages in uh, Leeds, London, uh, Madrid. Uh, I think we went to Cadiz as well. So we pretty much try to give back to the community and invite people to see what we are about. In the Scala Meetup, for example, we under, that we organized the, at the beginning of this month, we not only had one of the type safe uh, directors here talking about what they do, as they are one of the main Scala companies, but we also had Lewis from our team, he's around today, uh, presenting our real, the real time, the real time data platform, which is something we have been presenting, and you know we're trying to obviously show to the community how we've done it and we get to the learning lessons we had. So why shortage? We have we opened this office about a year and a half ago, I think almost two years now, and we have a big development center in Leeds. We have a big development center in Gibraltar, Tel Aviv. You know, global business. Why to start opening a, a, an office here? Well, because. Most of, well, some of the best people in the world, some of the best technology people, programmers, uh, QAs, DevOps, everything, most of the, some of them are based here. I like to believe that you know, maybe side by side with Silicon Valley, this is the place to be if you work in technology in the world. So our goal with this office is very simple, to create the best software development teams in London. If you have the best development teams in London, you're most likely to have some of the best in the world. So I'm not going to pitch to you, I've mentioned a few things like the technologies we use and all of that and I think that with the startup accelerator that I've mentioned can give you a bit about our culture. I'm not going to pitch to you different jobs and say you should apply for us. If you want to be part of this vision and try to join a team that is wants to be the best in town, you should apply. If you're not looking for that and you're looking for something you know, that is more relaxed and just a job instead of a career, then you probably shouldn't apply. But you know, you're welcome anyway. And just to leave you with that, a picture of our team at the Christmas party. I know it's not the best, but well, everyone's happy, so thank you very much.